It's really easy to make mistakes when it comes to planning how much to train, when to train, and also choosing how many tournaments to play. There are some very important areas that you need to consider when it comes to planning your tennis year because you want to ensure that you do the proper things to be happy, healthy, and playing well. Hi, I'm Lauren Quinn and I'm a WTA primary healthcare provider. In this video, I'll give you advice on how to plan your tennis strength and conditioning training as well as guidance on how to structure your tennis calendar. First, we will talk about how to periodize. This means planning your training in a specific way so that you are prepared to play at your best at a specific time of year or a specific tournament. Second, we will talk about how to structure your tennis calendar. For example, how many tournaments should you play in a year? How many weeks should you play back to back? We will help you answer some of these very important questions. Your training should be organized and planned based on the tournaments in the calendar, thinking about your potential, your previous performances, and your goals for the year. Periodization will consider each of the following. First, the volume or how much training and competition is in your schedule. Second, the intensity of training and competition. That's how hard you work in your training. And third, the frequency of training and competition. That's how often you train. Remember, it's all about quality, not quantity. Your training schedule should be planned just for you. Finding the proper training balance will improve your performance, prevent you from getting injured, reduce the frequency of illness, and maintain motivation to help you continue pursuing your goals. A typical periodization program is broken up into four training phases. The preparation phase, the pre-competition phase, the competition phase, and the active rest phase. All four phases should occur several times throughout the year. These are periods of preparing, training, resting, and competing all throughout the season. In the preparation phase, it is important to develop a strong aerobic and strength foundation. The focus is strength and stamina development and increased mental and physical resiliency. This means the ability to bounce back faster. Exercises should be high in volume and low in intensity. You should incorporate cardiovascular activities for endurance training, such as running, biking, or swimming for a minimum of 20 minutes. You should also include on-court agility, coordination, and balance drills for sport-specific training. In the pre-competition phase, training routines should become more tennis-specific, increasing the level of intensity while reducing the volume of training. Although there will still be some aerobic off-court training, more attention should be placed on the explosive movement and strength training exercises. This phase should be at least four weeks. The competition phase is the phase you're in during the season when you're playing a lot of tournaments. Since a true peak in performance can only be maintained for approximately three weeks, you should focus on maintaining strength and endurance levels while you're playing tournaments. During the competition phase, training should be performed at high intensity, but how much training you do will depend on the amount of matches or tournaments you play. Planning your schedule of tournaments is very important, and we'll talk in more detail about that later. The active rest phase is just as important as the others. Rest can mean complete rest. For example, putting your rackets away for two weeks at the end of the season. However, it is recommended that you take time to rest and recover during the season. Active rest means taking a break from tennis, but maintaining fitness with exercises in the gym or participation in another sport you enjoy. This can provide your mind a chance to rest as well as your body. Now let's talk in more detail about scheduling your tournaments and planning your calendar. 
even top players find this challenging. So we're going to give you some tips on how to make good decisions for your body and your mind. Everyone is different. So it's all about creating the right schedule for you, making sure that you are happy, healthy, and playing your best. At the start of the season, sit down with your coach to decide which tournaments are most important to you. Those are the tournaments you want to play at your best. So you can plan your periodization training and your playing schedule around those. Remember that you will only be at your peak for two or three weeks at a time. When you're planning your schedule, remember to include acclimatization, providing adequate time to adjust to time zones, climates, and different surfaces. It's tempting to think that lots of matches will result in increased confidence and improved ranking. But without proper planning, you can encounter repetitive injuries and mental fatigue. Always enter a tournament expecting to play through to the finals. Select the number of annual tournaments wisely and acknowledge that playing too much prior to a big tournament can have a negative impact upon your performance. At the end of each year, meet with your team and assess your scheduling. Compare it to your energy level at every tournament as well as results. Learn from what you did well and identify areas for improvement. Above all, ensure that you're getting enough rest. Play safely, play healthy, and play well.